I'd actually like to just start with us beginning with a breath. And we begin with a breath to honor the breath that has been taken away. We honor the stars, we honor the sky, we honor the sun. We honor all living entities of the world. We honor the earth, we honor the soil, we honor the wind, we honor the fresh waters. We honor all ancestral spirits that sit at the foot of the world, and we humbly acknowledge our indebtedness to the ancestors and stewards of this land who we know to be the Willow Sammamish people. When we do so, we are not simply giving tribute to people who no longer live here. Rather, we are asking permission and invitation by those co-presences who live on this land and whose ancestral energies are at work here with us now, that they continue to be present with us, that they allow us to do our work with humility, with kindness, with generosity, with care. We call on them so that we may attune to and resonate with their existence.
Uh, it's a plain style outfit, uh, but it's also the stereotype. It's what everybody believes that we are. And I purchased all of these things over the counter. Um, I believe the headdress is made in China. Most of the, the rest of the outfit is uh, assembled either in China or in Mexico. And, um, and I wore this outfit in public. As an indigenous person, the stereotype plays such a huge role in forcing everybody's perception of our identity onto us. And in this situation, as a native person, I am, I am beholding myself as the stereotype for other people, which immediately changes the definition of what you're looking at. Um, not because I'm a willing participant, but because I'm wielding it as a tool, as a weapon, as a piece that acts as a social mirror. Because when I turn on the cameras, when I turn on video, and I begin to document the way people interact with me, as I did here, um, you begin to see what sort of what sort of presence we have. Who is this? What does it mean? Does it align with what I believe and what I see and what I believe is true? All of which, to me, is predicated upon the fact that every single thing you think you know about indigenous people is false. And in the case of the last American Indian on Earth, in order for me to create something that is comprehensive to the American and Western mind, I have to use those falsehoods to represent existence in space and time in order to engage people in a way and in a language that they understand, even though that language is not true, which is the struggle of our existence. The struggle of our existence is that we have to live your lie in order for us to talk about our truths, which immediately muddies our truth. You know, the challenging that we feel as artists when we come into contact with other artists that we love and respect um, is something I think a lot of people are missing when they don't realize like, what we're doing or why we're doing it. Uh, I believe that there needs to be a greater sense of equality and not commodification of our work and our voices so that people, we can share the value of our thoughts and our experiences. And, and the last thing you say.